Hello, today I want to welcome you to the wonderful world of corral riding. That's right. So I'm going to start off from scratch. So let's say I'm going to use these parts here. Got a base clef and a treble clef there. And I am going to write out something in four part harmony. So basically, I'll just put it in 4-4 uh, time. And we'll just, to make it easy, we'll just keep it in the key of C for right now. So first thing I do is I write out a melody. I think of a melody before I go anywhere else. And I'll keep basic simple. I'll just do half notes and quarter notes. I'll write the melody out. Okay. So when we're on a, on a half cadence there. So now I have the melody written out. And so I got some options and choices. So we're in the key of C, and if we're mainly sticking with one, four, and five, we can throw a two or a six in there as well, is that I got chords that will fit uh, these particular ones. I'll just write them out over here just to make it easy. So we'll use, I'll use uh, what I call rock and roll chords, jazz chords, along with um, the traditional Roman numerals that we use. Okay. And then uh, down here, we'll have, uh, that'll be the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord are all major, so they get the big Roman numerals. The two, the three, and the six are minor, so we put them as small Roman numerals. And then there's a special diminished chord there back to the one there. So in here we have the notes for C. The notes for C are C, D, and G. For D minor, D, E, F, G, A, B diminished, and the C here. So basically all I have to do is stack thirds in the key of it and it will work. So C, E, G, and I'll kind of just write it out here just to make life easier. D, F, A, E, G, B, F, A, C, G, B, D, A, C, F, and B, D, F, and then finally go back to C again. So those are the basic triads that we have that we can use to harmonize this. So the way we look at it is that here, the first note here is probably going to be the one chord, but let's, let's pretend we didn't know that. We get a couple options for this C note. So whenever I see a C note here, that's a possible chord that we could use. Obviously, the one chord has a C in it. The four chord has a C in it as well. Uh, a minor, the six chord, has a C in it as well. So just for fun, I'll write down these as possible options down here. So I have a one, a four, and a six. All right, D is going to have a D minor has it, G has it, and a uh, B diminished has it. So you can do this for all the ones that you, that you, uh, you can do that for every single chord as a possibility. You can have either, so one, four, and six. That, right, that D note there is a passing tone, so I'm not going to worry about that. That's basically that measure there. A C, I'm the E. Well, actually, E, I actually can put in, um, let me take it this way. I'm back. I misread that one there. So uh, obviously the C chord has a, the one in it with E, E minor, three, and a six. You have, the, have that. And then C would be the same as the first one over here. Uh, B, it would uh, definitely be E minor would be one the chords, be the three chord, it'd be the five chord, and also the diminished chord, and G. This is the one chord, the five chord, right, and also the E minor chord. And then A would be the two chord, and also the four chord and the six chord. And then B again would be the three, the five, and the seven. So those are the chords that we have that we can use to harmonize this melody. 
Now, there's obviously some better options for some things. If we're going to start off on a song, it's going to probably be in C. So we're probably going to use the one chord for this here. So now I'm going to write down the one chord. Okay? And so that's going to be, that bass note there is going to be that C there. All right. D. I'm just going to keep it simple right now. I'll probably just use a five chord there. I've got some other options that I could use as well. I'm going to use a one chord for this whole, this whole measure here. And I'll just use half notes. I don't really have to write it again, but I'll write it again. Uh, this one here, I'll probably just keep it easy. Use the five chord. And um, probably just go ahead and keep that five chord. This whole measure here. I'm going to use that as a, the two, I'm going to go two six to a five. And if I want, I'll make it a seven just for fun. Okay, so now, um, so F there and G. So now, these are the chords that I have. Now, I can use this over here to help me spell this here out. So I got a C and a C. So in the C chord, we have a, have a C, an E, and a G. Okay? So i got to put an E in there, and i got to put a G in it, because I already got the C there. So this, this looks like it's going to work. So I'll put that down there right now. I might have to change it, but for right now, it looks like it's going to work. All right, I got a D and a G, so I need a, at least a B in there. Now the thirds and major chords, you don't typically double. And so I have that there. I usually double the root. If I can't double the root, I double the fifth. If I can't double the fifth, I might double the third, and that's on a rare occasion. But for the most part, you're either going to double the root or the, or the fifth. You don't double the third. And so right now, I'm going to check my part voices. I've got a fifth going to a third, uh, a sixth going to an octave, an octave going to a fifth. So I don't see any bad harmony. I don't see any uh, parallel fifths going on. I don't see anything that's, that's bad. So th I, can, I can continue on here. So same thing, I need to add a G. I'm just going to say that common pitch there, put a C there. So that uh, leading tone going to the one is, is, is good part right. Um, I probably can just hang there on this for right now. And uh, this would probably, and put an E here. Got a little bit of a distance there with that D there, that passing tone, but that's all right. And for right now, going six to, to a fifth to a fourth, that's fine. There's nothing that I see that's screaming out to me as being wrong. Okay, and then now, same thing here. Here's the five chord, so I got a B and a G. So I can't put a B down because the third's already there, so I can either double the root which this is probably the easiest case there, and put the fifth there. And I don't see any cross voices. I don't see anything wrong there, any parallels or crossing going on, so that's fine. And I walk that down a little bit, flip these around. So then I got the third there, fifth, and octaves. That's fine. And now I'm going to go to the two, six, and first inversion. So that. And fourth to fifth. It's all good. And then basically the approach, yeah, well, this will be all right. Jump up to the fifth there, we'll put the seventh there. And what the seventh is, is the seventh degree of that particular chord. So the way we spell that chord is G, B, D, and F, because we're in the key of C. And that B and F there is that tritone, which likes to be resolved to the C. So that's the process of going through and harmonizing a, a melody. And it's uh, something that's really fascinating in a lot of aspects uh, as well. So hopefully that's helped out a little bit on, uh, on the mindset of how to put together some part writing. As always, rock and roll, and it does compute. <laughs>